Hello guys, this is the third video in the mini-series about filament admin panel taken from my recently released course about filament admin panel and from those two hours of videos in the course I've compiled three short videos into YouTube and today you will see a compilation of four videos into one because they are very short four customizations of the table with simple filament resource and you will see how easy it is to customize simple stuff in the filament I was really impressed by this tool while diving deeper and while shooting this course so I hope you will be impressed too if you want the full course with github repository for all of that the link will be in the description below Tomorrow we'll have a regular Saturday video from my car and then we'll get back to general Laravel topics on this YouTube channel. I've shown you previously the default redirect after creating the form. So for example, if you fill in the form, it redirects, the filament redirects by default to the edit page. And I told we would override that. And actually it's pretty simple. If we take a look at the official documentation, we need to customize the files for create and edit form with overriding one function. So I will remind you that the resource has create product, edit product, and list. And we need to override the create product and edit product function. So we will copy and paste, redirect URL to the index of the same resource, which is the list. And we will do the same thing in the create product and edit product like this. And let's try it out. So edit product, we refresh, let's change something. And we are on the home page home page of products, I mean the list. If we enter new product, create, we are back to the table. So this is how easy it is to customize redirect. You can redirect to the index or to whichever page you like. Now let's take off the sortable behavior of fields. So you can sort by name or by price. And here's lesson by lesson, you will see the power of filament to customize simple things. So there's a feature here and there, setting here and there to achieve desired behavior. So for sorting of the fields, to define the field is sortable or not, and to have that icon here on the top right, all you need to do in the list of table columns, to the column add sortable. That's it. So for example, if we refresh now, we have small icon, and we can click and now it's sortable by name ascending. And as you can see, it is in the URL as well, or descending. And we can add the same thing to sortable in another column of price and we can now sort by price ascending or descending and also we can define the default sorting so for example what if you want the table to be default sorted by price for that you define in the table another function is default sort column and then ascending or descending for example price descending like this and now we click the products and as you can see, the URL is changing by default to default sort column price, sort direction descending. As you can see, it is sorted. Now, how do we search by certain fields? For example, you want to search by name, but you don't want to search by price for now. All you need to do, again, filament beauty, is that in the column you define, I'll close the sidebar, sortable and searchable. Again, that's it. How does it work? We refresh. And now I have the search, the whole search for the whole table, but it will behave only on those columns that you specify. So for example, emerald, and it is successfully found. Let's take a look at the console, what is happening under the hood in the console, or in fact, in the network. What are the requests? How many requests does it have? So we have the products. So there's one request to the products. And then if we type in emerald, as you can see, there is only one request instead of five requests. So filament is optimized by default with live wire settings that don't perform too many queries. Also, we will continue with the search in separate lessons in the future, discussing the global search among a few different resources. Now let's briefly talk about the validation. Why briefly? Because filament uses the same validation rules as Laravel with just a few on top. So for example, if the price should be numeric, you can use Laravel rule of numeric. So we go to the for method. So required is filament validation rule. And there are also available rules in the documentation like after date, before date, different exists and stuff like that. So for those, there are specific filament methods. But if you want to use some Laravel rule, you just add that as 
rules. Rules or rule, for example, numeric. And let's try it out. We go to new product. Let's enter some number. Create. The price must be a number. And then we go 293 and it's OK now. And that validation will obviously be in both create and edit form. And you define both within one method of form.